Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today I'll teach you how to create or model a spider web in Blender. So uh, we will, will be needing an add-on for this parametric objects. The download link is in the description. It's completely free. You have to download the zip file first, and then we're going to we're going to install it in a Blender. Click on Edit, Preferences, and go to Add-ons. Click on Install. It should be in your downloads. Click the add-on and then install from file. Or, you know this button. I already have it installed it and then you'll see this add-on W mesh make sure that it is checked tick over here so once that it's activated when you click shift a you will see W primitives now these primitives are different than your regular primitives so uh, to create this spider web we'll be needing a W ring I'll go into wireframe mode, mode so you can see more detail you see these over here uh, you, you might you will have uh, 24 parameters change them to 16 or 17 18 it's your own choice and then we're going to go over here into the vertices w mesh data over here change the cap to three to four however you like it we'll scale it up a bit up over here and then we're going to do go with, to the modifiers add modifier a wireframe modifier see uh, let's go to solid mode and i'll give it a material of simple white i guess now thickness is a little too much for me so I'll make it a little less thick 0 0.002 is fine by me you can make it thick thin you know, any way you like it you know and uh, if you actually want to you know uh, manipulate it like a spider won't make this proper spider web so if you want to manipulate it then you're going to go, have to back into object data and convert to regular mesh now it's a regular mesh so click on it and go into edit mode tab and make sure you have proportional editing turn on you have to click O to turn on proportional editing click any one of these vertices and click G to you know manipulate it. and you can scroll your mouse to you know uh, change the influence area you, you can manipulate it for a wall or on a tree or any place you want it to it's you know completely based on personal preference uh, so I hope you guys learned something today if you did please like the video comment subscribe to my channel um, it really helps a lot uh, and I'll see you in the next video Goodbye.